Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Saturday Morning Dooger. How are you all? Good, I hope. Hello. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Don't be nervous. You got this. It's, man, I am nervous, though. <laughs> I am nervous, though. I think it's going to be great. But, you know, it's my second time ever DMing, so. Kit Talk, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a great day and use the emotes for evil, not good. And Electric Ferret, thank you so much for subscribing as well and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a lovely one. Use the emotes for evil, not good and be kind to your fellow Peritos in chat. The emote is finally in style again. <laughs> yeah, hair color is similar in that, right? Mm hmm Magical Hermit, thank you so much for the two months. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I dyed it red, like, three days ago. Kiss Awesome, thank you so much for the 28 months. Welcome, you fine And Kekistan Knight, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support, have a great day, and use the emotes for evil, not good. <laughs> And Ferex, thank you so much for the seven months. If I lean back, there's light in my face, and it really bothers me. So I keep, like, leaning back a little bit and then being like, fuck. <laughs> and then <laughs> leaning forward again. It's it's real dumb. Potato Knot, thank you so much for the 18 months. It's almost time for Duker Master. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Super Console, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day. And use the emotes for evil, not good. I'm Patty McBee. Thank you so much for all the biddies. Been DMing for almost eight years, and I still get nervous before games. You got this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your hair's red. I'm colorblind. It looks exactly the same to me. Yeah, it's uh, it's not like primary color red, but it's like, it's like kind of natural redhead red. If that helps. If that helps as all, at all. <laughs> Are you going to open fan mail next? Um, we can do it next Saturday. I'm here, right? I should be here next Saturday. Yeah. Is she DMing for Nebula Jazz or something else? Um, I'm never going to DM for Nebula Jazz. That's all. That's all, Adam. Um, no, I'm DMing a one-shot. So I did a one-shot like a year ago. Short Sack, thank you so much for the 11 months. I did a one-shot like a year ago that was called Feast or Famine that revolved around sort of a fantasy food guild where all of the members of the guild were um, like f battle chefs, essentially. And so, um, yeah, so I'm doing a follow-up to that. Insidious Plague, thank you so much for the 26 months. And um, I'm excited about it. I'm really excited. If, you've, if you uh, are a patron for roleplay, then you might have seen our character creation video, which I thought was kind of a shit show, but <laughs> a shit show just to the fact that, like, uh, Dungeon World character creation is so simple. So, yeah, so I kept being like, I mean, that's that's basically it. Cade Man, thank you so much for the seven months. So, um, yeah, everybody, you guys have seen, if you're a patron, you've seen everybody except for Jesse make their character. Jesse was still on his road trip. So, um, yeah, he and I made his character off to the side. So it's going to be me as the DM, and then Jesse, Sam, Aurelian, and Holly Conrad, which is a great group. I'm really excited. I'm uh, using Dungeon World, yeah. Yay! It's super simple, very conversational. It's nice. As a new DM, it's a really nice system to use because there aren't, there's no initiatives, there's just, like... The whole campaign is a conversation between you and the players. So even when you're fighting, like if if somebody if somebody just keeps saying like, and then I do this, and then I do this, you can just be like, okay, hold on, what are you doing? What are you doing, right? And you just like the DM is more of like a wrangler, you know, like to just make sure that everybody's getting their turn to like contribute to the story. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. Have you read through the whole book? Um, I have, yeah, I have at, at one point. Burb God Holly. <laughs> Do 
I love your hair. Thank you. I'm loving it too. I'm a big fan of my own hair, which is a nice feeling when it's been a long time since you've done anything to your hair to do something to it and be like, I love this. I love this. I love the length of it. I was loving how long it was before, but it was it was just so damaged that I didn't like the look of it, if that makes sense. Allison Weird, thank you so much for the four months. So I'm not opposed to having it that long again, because I thought that it looked good, but yeah. God damn it, why? Thank you so much for the 11 months. Time flew by. Uh... Wait, what? Hold on. There's a conversation happening and I'm trying to... Have you been keeping up with the gamers anime? I'm interested in your thoughts on the direction it's taken. And then somebody said, I'm also interested in this. The latest episode made me mad. It's all misunderstandings. Oh shit. No, um, Sam and I haven't watched the last few. Because he, he's he been here. And he's also, every time he's home, he just wants to watch Terra's house. So... Uh, old Padfoot, they've done a masks game. Yeah. On, uh, on roleplay, they've done it. I wasn't part of it, but they've, they've done a masks game. <gasps> Miguel, it's your birthday? Happy birthday! Can we get some, uh, happy birthdays from Miguel in chat? When you DM the players, always do what you didn't think of every time. Oh, yeah. And also, like... There was, a, there was a reason, there was a very specific reason that I didn't invite Jesse to be on my first game. <laughs> I didn't want Jesse or Sam in my very first uh, DMing experience because they're both the sort of people that just like... They're, they also have like really big imaginations and they love to just like spin things in different directions. And so I was like, fuck. Like I really... I don't know that I'm ready for that, you know? Envicare, thank you so much for the nine months. Happy Twitch, baby. Hi, Pluto. Pluto, are you excited for tomorrow? So today is my one shot, but tomorrow we're doing the um, the live room escape. Yeah. Um, I also just found out it's on my channel, question mark. <laughs> Apparently it's happening on my channel, so that's cool. Hey, come to my channel and watch us do uh, an escape room. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. I'm really excited. I hope you guys escape. Me too. I thought I told you that. Last that we talked, we weren't sure whose channel it was going to go on. But I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm down for it to be on mine. Let's do it. <laughs> It'll be tomorrow at 8 o'clock Pacific time, I believe. Mm hmm Yeah. So, that'll be cool. They're replacing... So, the reason that they're letting us do it is because it's a... It's part of a three-part escape room. We've done the first part before. The second part is a four-person escape room that's being replaced. So, they're letting us live stream it literally because um, it's not going to exist anymore. Which is kind of cool. What is an escape room? Oh, what a great question, Yes, Paints. So an escape room is, um, it's like a, it's like a, a game experience where you get put into a room and there are hints and clues all over the place that you have to put together and figure out in order to leave the room. So in, in a simple way, it could be, it could be as simple as like, there are a bunch of locks all over the place and you have to find all of the keys, right? So you have to search everywhere in the room for the keys. Um, but like really good escape rooms could have, you know, like number puzzles, color puzzles. There could be, you know, like poems and you have to figure out like consistencies in the poems. Like it could be anything. It could be anything. And, and you use like all of these different clues that you find in order to progress until you can finally leave the room. 
Um, that's like the idea of it. So, Great Burger Prince, thank you so much for the one year. Happy, happy, happy anniversary. <laughs> so it's puzzle chefs. Sure, if you're chefs, sure. I forgot Saturday morning Duger was a thing. What's up? How you doing? <coughs> Speaking of escape rooms, have you ever played the Zero Escape games? I have. I've never beaten one. I should go back to them. Gut Saren, thank you so much for the nine months. Happy Twitch, baby. Imagine it like Zero Escape, but less deadly. That is exactly what it's like. Yeah. Um, Pluto, in chat right now, is addicted to them. Like, he goes to them constantly. He had a dream that he was in a pirate escape room, like, setting that took place on multiple islands that he had to sail to. Like, <laughs> like he loves them. So he was the reason that we all wound up going to the first of this, like, three-parter. Reesey, thank you so much for the resubscription. And Mackenzie Monet, thank you so much for the resubscription as well. I appreciate it, guys. Putting Pluto on blast. Look, he he does he loves them. He loves them. It's true. He'll admit it. That sounds legit. <laughs> Whirly, thank you so much for the 11 months. Nearly a year, my dude. And MJC, thank you so much for the seven. It sounds like a manga arc. Yeah, it sounds like that, like, you know, uh, when manga went through that weird phase where everybody had to have, like, a video game arc? <laughs> like, Hunter x Hunter had their video game arc and Beelzebub had their video game arc, and it was like, why? <laughs> it's just, like, like, a weird addition to the whole storyline. Yeah. This is our, uh, yeah, this is our video game arc. Um, so it's, it's me, Sam, and then the two Alexes, number one Alex and Octopimp. It's gonna be us four. Bills Above had a video game arc? It sure fucking did. I don't know if it made it onto the anime. Did they get to that part in the anime? It existed in the manga for sure. <laughs> Edmund, thank you so much for the four months. I'm going to Berlin for three weeks. Have you been? Any recommendations for things to do and see? There is a, when I went at least, there is a really cool, god damn it, I fucking hate this. I hate this light that's in my face. There is a really, really cool um, free tour that you can take. They like entirely operate off of tips. And I don't know if they still exist, but it was like the best tour Everybody who worked there was amazing. It was super cool. And they did just like a basic tour of Berlin for free um, with the, you know, assumption that you will tip however much you think they deserved. And then um, they have like other extra tours that you can do that are all paid. So the like just basic Berlin tour was kind of like a, um, it's, it's kind of a, a taster, you know, like, look, we do really good tours. Would you like to pay for one of the more specific ones? Like, that's kind of the idea. And when we went on that tour, it was amazing. It was so good. But Great Island was so good. Look, I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just weird. It's weird when there's a manga that is mostly focused on, like, fighting. And then they're like, and now we're going to go into a video game. Like, okay. Yeah, Pluto's already done the room, so there would be no point in him doing it with us. He would know how to solve everything. But he's already done it, and he sort of, like, set up... Not sort of. He did. He set up this whole awesome situation where we get to all do the escape room together, so... Any idea on when the next One Punch Man comes out? Uh... I'm not sure. I think later this year, isn't it? Smart guy, thank you so much for the 23 months. Didn't some rooms switch up the solutions? At Basement LA? They're... The second room that we're doing on stream is getting replaced. Completely. 
Will there be a multi-cam situation? I have no idea. BitFail, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you so much. And ZZCo, thank you so much for subscribing as well and for becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good, and be kind to your fellow Puritos. Yu-Gi-Oh! was a card game and they still did a video game arc. <laughs> Each person will have a lav mic, and there will be four cameras in the room. Oh, damn. Nice, Goog. I hope you're not claustrophobic. I'm the opposite of claustrophobic. Welcome, Sir Dread, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day, and use the emotes for evil, not good. I did dye my hair, yes. Uranium Shrimp, thank you so much for the 21 months. And Sporty Marts, thank you for the 31. Can't believe I've been part of this great community for over two and a half years. Hell yeah! A claustrophile. <laughs> I've always been like, my. I think it's because when I was a kid, my dad, when he would um, tuck me in, he would turn me into a burrito. So he would like. He would, like, tuck me in really tightly, and I was like, yeah! And I loved it, and then my mom started doing it. So I, like, I, I really like just being, like, bundled up in things. Fad Fee, thank you so much for the 11 months. Almost a year. Hell yeah. Is this the Pareto Origins? <laughs> Very happy Mango! Thank you so much for all of the biddies For those burritos. And Vagina! Thank you so much for the 26 months! Welcome. Uh, Tiny Tim. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a great day! And use the emotes for evil, not good. Don't make BDSM jokes about me and my dad, please. That's not... <laughs> Shut it the fuck down. <laughs> Shut it the fuck down. <laughs> you must love mummy sleeping bags. Um, I've never had a mummy sleeping bag. I don't even know what that means. I also hate being underground. My friends always want to try escape rooms. And I'm like, sure, you go. If I go, I'll have a panic attack. Yeah, it's, it's always good to like... They usually um, have warnings, right? Of like, Welcome, you here's all of the things that an escape room could possibly trigger in you. So day. just like keep all of these in mind. Grimble, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a fantastic day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Nuke the chat. <laughs> Kill it. Shut it down. I'm guessing it's a sleeping bag that wraps you up like a mummy. Well, I'm I'm imagining. Because there are those sleeping bags that are just, like, really long but really narrow. I'm wondering if that's what they mean. Dodger is not a midwinter camper. Oh my god. We were... So, I was trying to convince Sam that we should go camping. And he keeps claiming that there aren't tents big enough for him. Like, there w that we could not find a tent that could have both of us in it and he would be comfortable and I'm like that's not true they're giant you can get giant tents that's not true so what the fuck is he talking about I know I'm like we could get a gigantic tent he's like what if we just went to one of those places where you get like a cabin and it's kind of camping and I'm like no that's not camping <laughs> I know, he just doesn't want to go camping, is the truth of it. He might be in here right now. I'm calling you out, Sam. You just don't want to go camping. It's the facts.
I did. I did dye my hair. It's red now. Pocket and I accidentally dyed our hair red at the same time, which was weird. It was <laughs> just very weird. I was like, wait, what? I came to do my stream and everybody was like, oh, Pocket dyed her hair red this morning too. And I was like, what? <laughs> she did? <laughs> it's very bizarre. It's very strange. What time is the one shot at today? It's at one o'clock. Same time that Nebula Jazz would normally start. Now someone has to go home and re-dye their hair. I'm fine with us both having red hair. Her red is different from mine, for sure. Um, but it was just like a funny coincidence. There can only be one? Then I'm gonna have to fight a lot of my redhead friends. Comic Strider, thank you so much for the one year! Happy anniversary! Thank you so much for the support. The Hells Angels are here at all, so offer you their support. Good morning from Australia. What's up? I've got nice teeth. Thank you. I have a cavity that I haven't taken care of. <laughs> I have a cavity that I should really go and uh, get checked out. <laughs> They've started talking about Hannibal returning. Oh my god, potassium nitrate. Don't do this to my heart. Saying it'll take a while, but they're definitely trying to make it happen. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Mummy bags have a hood on them. They start broad and then they go narrow toward your feet. The hood has a drawstring so it encloses around your face. I don't know that I would want... So I'm down to be like tucked in, Pareto style, right? But I don't know... I don't know that I would like a situation where I couldn't move my feet around very much. Is that weird? Like the re when I imagine the rest of my body like constrained in a in a sleeping bag, I'm cool with it. But my feet, I really want to be able to move my feet. And Aizawa says a style sleeping bag. Got it. Now I can imagine it perfectly. <laughs> Good night, motherfuckers. <laughs> on entertainment's website i'm not a sub so i can't link the article okay cool i'll go look for it most good sleeping bags have a foot zipper <laughs> ah yes ah yes the foot zipper <laughs> it's fine because i figure if i get a sleeping bag that's meant for a normal length person then my feet will still be in the part that isn't the narrowest Right? So I'm probably fine. According to JP's schedule, it starts an hour later than that. It starts at 2? Does it? Hold on, let me look. Uh, it me JP slash schedule. Um, Wicked Thimble. Oh, it does start at 2. What the fuck? I'm gonna text Jesse because I definitely told him one. My bad. Uh, Carlin Designs, thank you so much for the seven months. Sound check. One thirty. My bad. I thought it started at one. <laughs> I just sent him a lot of texts. <laughs> well, starting at two, my uh, one shot. My next one shot. I'm probably gonna all end at the same time that I normally do because I wanna have a little bit of prep time, but. Uh, Wind of the Wind Panda, thank you so much for the three months. And Adult Swim, 231, thank you so much for the biddies. I might be a guy, no matter the color, I'll always be jealous of your hair. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure your hair is lovely. Good old Mads Mikkelsen. When are we getting him in Game of Thrones? 
Shrieking Panda, thank you so much for the one year. Happy anniversary. You're going to have a game hour or just talk today? Yeah, we'll play games for sure. I don't know what to play, though. I kind of want to play Annie Hero. If anybody wants to play Annie Hero with me. Annie Hero. <laughs> Dropping consonants like microphones. We're not gonna, no, we're not going to play Hellblade. Not on a Saturday morning duker. Not on a Saturday morning duker, you sillies. You should do PUBG. Um, I might be playing PUBG tonight with um, JP and Aurelian. They asked if I wanted to play with them tonight. I, I don't think that I'll stream, but I just want to like play with them. Moogle Cat, thank you so much for the 18 months. Miori, what's up, beautiful? Thank you so much for the 13 months. Love the hair. Thank you. Thank you. When is Crander gonna find his dream daddy? Oh yeah, we never went we never went back to Dream Daddy with Crander. I'm all for Dank Dungos or Annie Hero. <laughs> it just makes me think of Annie like like musical Annie. <laughs> Thank you, Laponder Chat. It's entirely luck. I don't take care of it at all. <laughs> Just to like be completely honest with you, I don't take care of my skin. I never wash my face. I don't I don't know how I lucked out so hard. Cause I should like everything should be going wrong. Thank you, Evermorn. Lies. It's true. It's true. I don't do anything to it. When I've put on, when I've worn makeup, like, when I put on makeup at night, I'll wipe all of the makeup off. But that's it. You play games inside and avoid sun damage. That, that doesn't, that doesn't change the fact that, uh... <laughs> I just, I have, um, I don't have, like, oily skin and I don't have dry skin, right? So that's, like, a genetics thing, I think. I don't, I don't have, like, one side or the other. So I'm in, like, a good mid-zone where my face doesn't break out super often. Do you moisturize? Um, sometimes. Sometimes, if I remember. If I'm in there, like, brushing my teeth and I'm like, oh yeah, I should put on lotion. Then I'll put lotion on my face, but I don't do it every day. And if I do it, it's only once a day. Those nails, do you think you'd be able to draw with those? Oh, these? Yeah, they're, like, I've figured out, I can type perfectly fine with these nails now. Um, they're not super long. So, they, they're kind of, I think that this length is, like, the perfect length for me. If I'm gonna have, like, longer nails. Um... I think I could draw with these. Wait a minute. Let's see. What should I draw? Give me something to draw, chat. It's going to be bad. It's not going to look good, but give me something to draw. We'll test it. What am I drawing? I'm seeing lots of Sam and a cat, so we'll draw Sam as a cat. Yeah, I think you can draw with these just fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My 
My cats are curled up next to me for some stream time. Aw. Sherlock's been doing this thing where he doesn't... He doesn't want to... He doesn't snug up unless he's hungry. So then he's not, like, snugging up to relax. He's snugging up to, like, get me to feed him. So he'll walk over and I'm like, Hi, honey! And I'll, like, start scritching his head. And then he's, like... He, like, headbutts me a ton and, like like, rubs up against me, but kind of aggressively, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? It did have a beard. Look. He's got little floofs. Floof. And then floof. Here. Does this help? <laughs> now it looks real dumb. <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> Hunted Nord, thank you so much for the four months. The blue and orange plushy thing in your cabinet behind you is staring into my soul. Oh yeah, the dra the Dragon Quest boys. They're looking right at you always. My ranch cats don't snuggle. I mean, like ranch cats, like barn cats. Barn cats never want to snug. Because they're, like, feral as fuck, normally. <laughs> Is Hustle Cat ever coming back? We do plan on bringing it back. Yes, for sure. Actually, Duger, the orange slime is a she slime. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's looking into your soul, and he's also looking into your soul. <laughs> Does that make it better? Did you see the... Oh, yeah, I saw the whole thing with Sky finding a pupper. He was so happy that the dog got back to its owner. Oh, my God, it was adorable. Why make such promises? What, about Hustle Cat? I don't think that it's wrong for me to say, yes, we do plan on continuing to play it. Would you rather I just ignore those questions? Should I just always ignore questions about whether or not I'm going to do things? I just won't answer them ever anymore. <laughs> I'm late, sorry. I was late too, Nicket. So don't even worry about it. You made the same promises about other stuff? Great, I just won't mention it anymore. I would answer your question about box talk, Fedori, but I'm not allowed anymore. <laughs> Any games today? Yes, we're going to play some anti-hero in a bit. <laughs> no, I just... I don't know. I get very frustrated. But it's fine. We'll just move on. You should always just give ambiguous answers. I do. I say that we plan on playing it, or I plan on finishing it, or I plan on doing it, or this should come out around this time. I try to give ambiguous answers, and then people are like, you promised. I'm like, I didn't promise. I said that we planned on doing it. That's not a fucking promise. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Disco Werfel, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil, not good. And Spiegel Bomb, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang as well. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good, and be kind to your fellow Peritos in chat. <laughs> but you promise. Look. <laughs> Eh. 
SK Cali, thank you so much for the four months. <laughs> You're getting your child training in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Is there anyone else here that also dabs? Um, I could I could dab right now. I could do a dab right now. When are you gonna be a buff girl? I'm working on it. Dude, yesterday, yesterday she brought out the, we were doing like, hold on. It's when you like, you lift a bar with weight, but you, you kind of like stand like this and you lift like this. And she brought a 20 pound bar and a 40 pound bar and she was like do it with the 40 pound bar as long as you can and uh she was like i want you to do three sets of 20 and do it with the 40 pound bar for at least 20 of those if you can and i was able to do all three sets of 20 with the 40 pound bar i felt pretty fucking cool that's not no, it's not a deadlift. It's like an it's like a row of some kind, I guess. But yeah, I was able to do it with the 40. I was really excited. And in my efforts to be able to do a pull-up, <laughs> in my efforts to be able to do a pull-up, I was able to hang like this from the bar for five seconds. But that's better than I've been able to do. <laughs> so Yeah. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, small steps. It's fun. It's fun, like, starting the whole I want to be able to lift more and I want to, you know, like, have be stronger. It's really fun seeing progression in yourself. Um, I'm specifically not weighing myself because muscle weighs a lot, right? So, like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how much I weigh. Kira-san, thank you so much for the two months. So right now I'm just all about, like, trying to notice differences in myself, like, when I look at myself, um, which has been cool. Like, I'll, I'll be lifting something, I'll be like, oh, I saw a little, I saw a little muscle. <laughs> I saw a little muscle puff out there. That's so exciting. So those kind of things make me really excited. And just being able to work with heavier weight than I was able to work with when I started. Um, those kind of milestones, I think, are really worth it for me. Because I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to lose weight, right? I'm just trying to, like, be stronger. So there's no point in using a... There's no point in weighing myself. <laughs> so. 47, thank you so much for the eight months. Yeah, old hair color. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been redhead in forever. It's been so long. Flukes, thank you so much for the seven months. Time to bulk, right? <laughs> Just trying to get swole. I just want to be a buff girl. I just want to be a buff girl. It's like my big, and I've, I've said this a million times, but like my big insecurity spot for like most of my life was my hips, right? And I'm totally down for my hips to be like the same. Like I don't, I don't care if they're, I don't need them to be smaller. Like my hips and my like all of that all that shit in there i don't i don't need that to be smaller i would like for it to be more toned but i don't care if it's smaller like i'm down for it to just be the same size right <laughs> yes my butt my hips and my butt are what i am talking about yes Ultimate goal is to deadlift Sam. If I can lift Sam, I'll I'll have made it. <laughs> so lewd. Look, everybody was calling me out like I wasn't okay with saying the word butt on my stream. I'm talking about my butt right now. I 
I'm cool with my butt being a muscle butt. <laughs> But do your hips lie? I mean, they might. Who even knows? But yes, on my journey, on my journey to being a strong girl, my journey to being a, a strong person, um, I am noticing good progression in myself. So that's been awesome. That's been really, really cool. I want a muscle butt. <laughs> I don't actually want a muscle butt, I don't think. I don't want to give up, like, the squish, but, like... <laughs> Can you jump any higher? Nah. No way. It's much easier to stay motivated if you see change. I think that's true. I think, like, recognizing the things that that show progress helps a lot, right? Me being able to say, holy shit, there's no way I could have done this with the 40-pound bar when I first started. Um, there's no way that I could have hung like this and, like, supported my weight for five seconds. That kind of stuff. I've only just started, I've recently started going to the gym every couple of days. Any advice? That's about how often I go. I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And, um, always eat before you go. Always eat before you go, even if it's a little. Always eat before you go to exercise. That's why I found, I used to get so confused. This might seem really obvious, but I don't think it is if you're the sort of person who hasn't, like, exercised a lot in their life. Um... When I, I couldn't figure out why some days I would go to exercise and I would feel really sick, right? Like, just the, like, minor amounts of exercise would make me feel like I was going to throw up. And then other days, we would work really hard and I would feel totally fine. And I was like, I don't understand what it is. It's because I didn't eat. <laughs> it's because I didn't eat before I went to exercise. You need to have energy inside of your body to use, right? So if you're going in the morning... Get up just a little bit earlier and eat something like a half an hour before you're going to exercise. Otherwise, your body's running on nothing. Like, you don't, you're not, there's no energy that you're using, right? Because <laughs> you didn't give it anything. So always make sure that you eat. Always make sure that you eat. Always bring water. Mm-hmm. That would be, like, the biggest thing for me. I'm the opposite. I get sick if I eat before I work out. Um, I don't... If I eat literally right before I work out, yeah. Yeah. But if I eat a half an hour before I work out, I won't feel sick when I'm working out at all. So yeah. Even if it's something like... Yo, it could be as simple as some peanut butter. Like, just... Something. <laughs> yeah, normally Sam and I will have, like, we'll have a little protein shake and, like, oatmeal. Or we'll have, um, like, toast with peanut butter on it. Or just, like, something, something small, but something that gives you something, something with carbs, right? So what you're saying is I've been doing the first part of going to the gym right. Hey! <laughs> bananas are good too. Yeah, we don't have bananas in our house because Sam hates them. But bananas are good. Bananas are very easy. Bye, Lazy Third Eye. Thank you so much. How can you hate bananas? They, they like, make him gag. He hates them. 
How do you avoid carbs? I don't. I would say don't avoid carbs, but, you know, everybody thinks differently about that. <laughs> yeah, he hates them. Um, when he, I don't know at what point. His parents say that he ate bananas just fine when he was a kid. And then he hit some point where they just, like, they made him gag. Like, he absolutely could not handle them. And even now, as an adult, like, since we've been together, he's um, he's tried eating banana before. Because, you know, he's the sort of dude where he's like, I don't like this thing, but every, like, year or so, I'll try it again just to see. Um, yeah, they still, they make him feel really gross. He hates them. He hates the smell of them. He hates, like, when he's about to eat them, he's just like, ugh. <laughs> like, he just hates them. I'm the opposite. The smell of bananas used to make me nauseous, and now I'm fine with them. Interesting. I used to, um, sweet potatoes used to make me feel sick, because my, my parents would give me, like, mashed up sweet potatoes as a side. And that was my, you know, the, like, stereotypical, like, you're not leaving this table until you eat blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, smash cut to the kid in the dark because they just never left the table. That was me with sweet potatoes. If, if I, like, went to eat them, I felt like I was going to throw up. So I just would sit there and not eat them. <laughs> What about something with bananas, like banana bread? Nope. He can't do banana bread. He can't do, um, like, a smoothie with banana in it. None of that. He's, um, the other one that he doesn't like is mushrooms. He can eat things with mushrooms in them, but he doesn't want to eat mushrooms. Um, I don't know if it's a texture thing or if it's a taste thing, but, like, if I use cream of mushroom soup in something, it's fine. He's fine. Um, if I give him a side of mushrooms, he won't eat them. <laughs> Bye, Dharma Dragon. Have a good day. TB doesn't like any food? Untrue. TB cooks a fair amount. I just recently have had a harder time eating mushrooms, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I haven't been eating meat as often, so I've been, like, the both tofu and mushrooms I kind of went a little heavy on, and now I haven't wanted them at all. Um, I've never really liked the texture of tofu, but now I I really don't ever want to eat it. <laughs> like, like, I'll... I'll be like, oh, it's tofu, it's fine, and I'll eat one piece of it and be like, alright, I'm done. <laughs> and I'm done with tofu. Um, I still have not tried seitan, but um, feel free to make, make as many Satan jokes as you want. I still haven't tried seitan, but um, Holly really loves it, so I keep thinking I should try that. I'm a vegetarian and I hate tofu. Yeah, there's just something, man. When it's, um, if it's been like, it, when it has like the crispy outside, it's a little different, but even then the inside is like, mm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this, right? Yeah, there's a girl that I watch, um, there's a vegan channel that I watch called Sarah's Vegan Kitchen and she is so fucking cute. Like, she's, she's so fun to watch. She's really cute. And um, she does really, just, like, really to the point videos, which I like. Um, and she's she's made, like, like, meatloafs and stuff with seitan. And I keep thinking I should try one of those recipes. Yes, tofu and miso soup I'm fine with. I think because it's tiny. And I basically just, like, drink it. <laughs> like, it's small enough that I just, like... I don't chew it or anything. I don't know. Do 
Satan is like a um it's like a oh, what's the it's a it's a gluten. It's like a gluten loaf basically. Um so you like mix vital wheat gluten with a bunch of other stuff and then it like becomes a thing. <laughs> Wow, Sarah is really cute. She is! She's so cute! Fuck. Go watch Sarah. She's great. <laughs> she, like, sometimes she'll... She'll try to replicate a recipe that she ate as a kid. And then she'll have, like, her sister or somebody eat it. Um, because her sister isn't vegan. So she'll, like... She'll make something for both of them and... And her sister will, like, say what she thinks and stuff. It's cool. Citro, thank you so much for the 21 months. Have you tried freezing tofu? Oh, I haven't. I've never tried that. Polynels, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you, Nighthawk. I'm loving my hair too. I don't know what happens when you freeze tofu. It might make it so that the, they said the texture is different. So maybe like it's not as spongy. I don't know. I tried like a, like a, like a tofu. I don't know why I put quotes around tofu. Like a tofu scrambled egg thing. And that wasn't very good. I've tried that before. How did your super fancy birthday dinner with Sam go? It went fine. Yeah, we went to we went to an Italian place and we had food and the food was honestly like pretty mediocre, but we like we had a really good time. So it was fine. Yeah. Tofu scrambled egg. Who knows which thing is real in there? It's all in quotation marks. <laughs> no, I'm not vegan. I don't eat meat very often, though. I don't eat meat very often, and I'm lactose intolerant. So it behooves me to find, like, good vegan channels there's um so there's sarah's vegan kitchen which is great because she's just super like down to earth and like chill and she used to work as a line cook and um the other one that i love is avant-garde vegan uh it's a guy named gaz who runs it and that that channel is super like really high production value right it's just this dude named gaz who's like a professional chef and he makes incredible looking food and it's really fun because in the first videos he was really nervous and kind of weird and then in the most recent videos he's more like chill and i'm like oh yes <laughs> it's great holland beck thank you so much for the 16 months Ninety-five percent of my diet is pizza I'm down for that. Pizza's good. Jin's Kitchen is the best. I've never heard of that. Hold on. Let's find it. Jin, oops. Jin's Kitchen. Oh, like Rachel and Jin. What? I didn't know he had a cooking channel. What the fuck? What? I had no idea. I've watched Rachel and Jen a bunch. I've never seen Jen's kitchen before. That's really cute. <laughs> Cooking with Crendor is number one. <laughs> 
Food Wishes is my go-to YouTube foodie stream. Dude, Food Wishes. Genie is obsessed with Food Wishes. I am Manfred. Thank you so much for the 23 months. Um, Genie went through a phase where she would like... Basically, any recipe that she tried was a Food Wishes recipe, and she would always, if she found a good one, she would link it to me. Um, Mang Chi's Kitchen is also great. If you really love Korean food, um, you should watch Mang Chi. She's so cute. Wait a minute. It's M-A-A-N-G-C-H-I. Mang Chi. She is adorable. She's like a mom. She's like a Korean mom who just makes Korean dishes. And she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. I can't. All this food talk and now I gotta go find something to eat. <laughs> you ate that weird dish on Geek Enders with Jimmy Wetzel. Oh yeah, when we ate dick together. That was weird. That was a really... Yeah, we, literally every time Jimmy and I see each other, we're like, remember when we ate a penis? on camera together. <laughs> we went to like this really bizarre restaurant in New York and they served penis there and we were like, I guess this is what we're here for. Radioactive Shadow, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a fantastic day and use the emotes for evil, not good. That was the same day that I got this piercing. I was like, you know what I've always wanted is a piercing up here. And they were like, you should get it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So I got it. Literally, we had a bunch of time to kill, and I was like, well, there's a piercing place over there. <laughs> I got my ear pierced, and then we went to a restaurant um, that's known for serving weird shit, and we were like, I get the feeling, looking at this menu, that they would really like for us to eat some penis, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. DragCon, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. I'm concerned that so many people are subscribing now that I'm talking about eating penis, but, you know, welcome! <laughs> This Mira, thank you so much for the 15 months. I swear that I don't talk about eating penis all the time on my channel. This is a very rare occurrence because of a very specific conversation. Um, it was a, it was a, it was a cow, and it was awful. It was awful. It was, it was so bad. It was so hard to eat. <laughs> it was just oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, it was just, it was served like sliced meat, right? Um, but the texture of it is awful. If you ever, I mean, I guess some people feel that way about tongue. I really, I really like tongue. Um, but I, I really like tongue, and I really liked brains when I've had brains too. So uh, maybe I'm not the right person to ask about that. But um, yeah, ate that, and it was weird. It was a very odd texture. It did not taste good either. Like, nothing about it was a good experience. So, just there you go. Weird Uncle Jay, thank you so much for the biddies Today on SMD, butts and dongs. You know, I didn't mean for it to be this way. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be this way. This is just what happened, story-wise. <coughs> good luck, mods, I know. Burn it. Burn it down. Burn it down. <laughs> for the second time today, burn it to the ground. Nerd Diaries, thank you so much for the two months. Maybe this is the perfect time to take a break. <laughs> Maybe this is the perfect time to, like, reset, right? We've, we've had to nuke chat a couple of times, so maybe maybe we should reset. When we come back, we'll play some anti-hero, um, which is pretty chill because I have an entire turn that I don't do anything, so... Um, still be able to hang out and chitty chat with y'all. And, uh, yeah, go grab a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever you gotta do. I'll be right back.
All righty. Do you have a shot? Do you get to do your thing? Cool. All righty. Uh, let's pop up an anti-hero, shall we? Yes. Yes. I can't remember where I need to be in this game, but that's fine. But that's fine. Fuck it. Say fuck it with me, don't give a fuck, motherfucker like one, two, three, say fuck it. Say fuck it with me, don't give a fuck, motherfucker <coughs> like one, two, three, say fuck it. What's up? Skinny jeans, thank you so much for the eleven months. I preach. Um too loud. I know, I know it was loud, sorry guys. Uh, okay. Whoa, it got rid of all my casual matches that I didn't finish. Oops. Alright, we're gonna do a live match if anybody wants to join me. I think you're right. I think it was like this, right? It was something weird like this. Daryl Biggums, thank you so much for the 13 months. Flotus Lotus, thank you so much for the nine months. Happy Twitch, baby.
Is that better? I don't think I've played Factorio. Maybe I have? I've missed your streams. Aw, well, welcome back, Rhyophiliac. Can you create your own character? Does it just happen to have red hair? Yeah, that just happens to be um, one of the characters. Oh my gosh, nobody's playing this game right now. Guys, come play with me. I've done the summers watch your streams and work on paintings for my uni portfolio. Yo, it sounds like you're doing good work, like alongside of watching my garbage streams. <laughs> you're like doing doing actual good stuff for yourself, so that's awesome. <gasps> Somebody's playing with me. I know some of you have this game, because we've played it on stream before. According to Steam Charts, Earth is currently 32 people playing. No! Okay, let's try to remember how to do this. It'll be morning. Scout the toot. Scout there. Um, cook. What? I'm on this it. kid in the trading house. female Twitch streamer I'm watching has red hair right now. I know, I was just talking about how odd it is that like, Did you say more? Pocket and I specifically wound up um, dyeing our hair at the same time. It's just weird. I know, it's sad, 32 people? Bums me out, man. Fun game. Uh oh, there's still their turn. Loop Guru, thank you so much for the two years. Hot damn. That's what's up. Thank you so much. Um, well, we're kind of trying. Is it? Oh, I told it. Uh. I'm here. Let's go. Um, let's upgrade your damage. And then we need her to scout this. Buy another boy. Right, then. Put him in the house. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of like a, a digital board game style thing where you are uh, the leader of a thieves guild and you're fighting against the leader of another thieves guild who is another like actual player. Um, you are trying to be the first to get victory points and depending on the map, you get victory points in different ways, but uh, it mostly has to do with um, bribes, blackmail, and assassinations. Those are the three things that you can always count on. On this map, you can also infiltrate the masquerade. So, that's another thing that we're doing right now. Cake Baker HD, thank you so much for the eight months. Your hair looks great, it brings out your paleness. I know, yeah, it looks super, but like, at the same time, I, I feel like because I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is a weird thing to say. I feel like because I'm pale, it it looks a bit more natural. I don't know. Maybe that's a weird thing to say. Ugh. I was like, God, I look super pale with this hair, but at the same time, I also look like maybe <laughs> maybe I just naturally have super red hair. I don't know. Huh? Maybe that's not true. Um. 
What am I doing? What? That's not what I wanted to do. On my way. Let's go. like to hit the assassinations unless I know I can kill them, but... You look like you were born without a soul. Great. <laughs> As a ginger, that was my first thought when I saw your hair. Thank you. I have the kind of, like, weird, pale, slightly red-toned skin. Yeah. This game is called Anti-Hero. It's super fun. It's a really, really fun game that like no one is playing. It's a bummer. I recently moved to Colorado. It's been raining like every few days. I hope you can get some rain and be happy. Aw, dude, I would love rain. That would be amazing. get it. I have weird skin. No, that's not what I'm saying. If you have weird skin, I have weird skin. Like, <laughs> It hasn't rained here in so long. It's not even raining in Oregon right now. All my Oregonian friends are like, Kill her. Great. We have one victory point. Huzzah. And now, he can have even more damage. Hello, and mate. then, um, let's infiltrate this house. Ah. Get another mask. Um. It'll be mine. Come down here. On my way. Stay here. Okay, that's not super useful to me, but that's fine. What? Right away. Another kid. Put him in there. Aquaran, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Oregonian sounds like a Skyrim race gone wrong. <laughs> My poor Oregonians. Uh. Okay, we want this. Chop. Great. Are they called oregano? Portlandians and Oregonians. <coughs> Marilissi, thank you so much for the 13 months. What happens if your master thief gets stunned by a bomb? Does your turn end? No, um, but you can't use, so like, one of the upgrades that you can do is to like give yourself more actions, right? So say that I went to a house that was bombed right off the bat, no matter how many actions I had left, I can't use any of them for the remainder of the turn. So it makes much more sense to um, like, if there's a, like say that um, there was a place that had uh, enemy urchins in it, we wanted to get rid of them. Um, it would make much more sense for somebody else to go and try to get rid of those urchins, right? Like, like anytime you can scout or do anything like that, but I guess you can only scout with your your main dude. But there, there have been times where I've touched something and thought, fuck, I should have touched that with somebody else <laughs> because... On my way. So like, see, I have three actions here. If I like hit a bomb right now, then I couldn't use those last two actions, but everybody else would still be able to like move and do things. On my way. It'll be mine. Of course. <laughs> God, I'm loving that they're just all showing up here. It's the 
good shit. Um... I'm not producing any money right now. It's bad. Well, you're right, we are still on IRL. Thank you, Einar. Um. There are 248 viewers on Antihero without us. So people are still watching it. invaded chat yet? No. I think he's streaming right now, isn't he? Am I crazy? If you were gonna pick a food to pig out on, what would it be? Um, I love, like, burrito bowl food. Like, I could eat that forever. Just, like, rice beans, onions, tomatoes, just like all that shit all mixed up. It's like such a good, easy thing to eat. Or, um, like spaghetti. My dad's spaghetti, I could eat that forever. having technical trouble so it's auto hosting you oh what's up <laughs> oh oh hey yeah. let's okay. go get another assassin contract out of the way not mom's spaghetti nah my dad's spaghetti is where the good shit is I don't have to scout it. Cool. That's good to know. Another trading house. Interessant. Is it O? What the fuck? Was this not lit up? Am I am I cray? What the fuck? Um, no, there's no point in buying that. Oh. <laughs> Great. Okay. This is PvP, yeah. I am Phil. multiplayer it's 1v1 there's a good campaign I finished the campaign and then um yeah and then from there it's 1v1 they have um casual matches which are like play by email and then um and then live matches like this one where you like wait for the other person to take their turn these matches are much easier because I don't I always forget what I was doing <laughs> Like, when I come back to a casual match, I'm like, what was I doing again? What was happening? Fuck. I don't remember. This kind of reminds me of Armello. Armello is also very fun. They're both, like, board game style digital games. Yeah, that's what's up. Ha ha. Ha ha. You hecked up child. No. Got it anyway. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not producing any money, so it's hard for me to buy units anyway. Armello is furry fun. 
They've apparently you can get like the fox and stuff now. I haven't done it yet. I need to. Yeah, Armello's a good game, man. Another partizzle. Go. I need money really bad. Ha! Is it O? Oh. On my way. Another for my pocket. Is it O? Oh. Of course. Gold per kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, shit. I have just one gold left. One more gold. But I don't, so. Wait, that doesn't work either, because I need three three duders. Three duders necessary. Okay, never mind. You're making me yawn and it's not even 8 p.m. I'm sorry. I fell asleep super early yesterday. I went home, um, planning on just like working on some stuff. And then I sat on the couch, passed out so fast. I was like, no. Nah. I woke up and I was like sweaty and gross because it's California and we don't have AC. So I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> I went to sleep and all my clothes, gross. My hair is red. It is, it is. Mr. M. Battler, thank you so much for the seven months. Barely able to catch you streaming these days. I'm always enjoy the little bits I managed to catch. You're my favorite streamer and the reason I started watching. Thanks for all the hours of entertainment. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the support, my dude. You don't have AC? Nope. You don't have AC. We've legitimately been looking into, like, how much would it be to just put an AC unit in this house. <laughs> Lord Bog, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil, not good. <gasps> they killed a dude. Oh no, no they didn't. They got a, is that a bribe? There's a lot of waiting in this game. Yeah, it's perfect for streaming, at least for me. Because that way I get to talk to you guys, but. Um. Yes, fucking it's got it, yes. On it. Mm. For me? The Strange Fellows Club. On my huh? way. I'll take ya. Sure. Um, but they raise each time I buy one, they would get more expensive. I could afford the second bribe. Cheaper now. Um. Hmm. 
Sure, I'll buy the second bribe. Fuck it. I've been jamming today. I'm going to catch the VOD later due to time zone shenanigans, but I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. I hope it's going to be fun. I'm sure it will be. It's a good group. I don't have a personal icon in this game. But I love this girl. I love her. So I'm fine with her being my face. I don't know anyone that doesn't think of AC as a giant waste of energy. Beautiful. Oh gosh. Here it's like, if you don't have AC, it's crazy. But we live near the, um, we live pretty, not even. I was gonna say we live pretty close to the water, but we don't really. So when we were like, oh, the AC isn't working, they were like, yeah, there isn't any AC because you get that good breeze. You get that good water breeze. And we were like, where is it? <laughs> where is that water breeze? <laughs> Give me that, please. We've been looking into either. We've been like, okay, how much would it be to just put AC in this house? Just overall, right? Which it would be thousands. It would be a lot of money. Um, or how much would it be to get a small AC unit just for our bedroom? Because like the rest of the house is kind of manageable, um, but our bedroom is awful. It's so hard to sleep every night because it's so warm. So. Are you gonna attack me? No. Okay. I'm oh, you haven't seen. Oh my god. Huh? Of course. <laughs> that was so worth it. Holy shit, that was so worth it. Okay. Um, alright. It'll be morning. What's going on in here? Great. On my way. A church, you say? Alright. Great. so that I can Oh, what? Oh, cuz I've already oh, cuz I've already scouted it. Shit. Okay. All right, girl. What are we doing here? Mm, for me? Do some of that. On my way. I'll take that. Oh, we. Oh, -ho. 
German and I know absolutely nobody who uses AC. Yeah, well, in a, in um, Oregon, I didn't know anybody who used AC either. It wasn't a thing, but... It's kind of like um, when I see people using umbrellas, it weirds me out. Because nobody uses umbrellas in Oregon. And here it never rains, right? So when it does rain, people don't have, people don't own umbrellas. So like when I watch something, when I watch like a movie or something and it's raining and a bunch of people have umbrellas, I'm like, yeah, people actually use those. You hate the rain? I love the rain. I love it, love it. I see in Texas. Yeah, it just depends on where you are, right? Oh. Rain on metal is one of my favorite sounds. Oh, God. When you're sleeping in a house and you can hear the rain on the roof. Oh, it's the best sound. That's the best sound. boys in here to have another. Cannot afford the final bribe, but she can. So we're both set up to have the same amount right now. By the dagger. Yeah. Sure. Sick. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Thank you for the support. Have a great day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Is it? Oh. It'll be morning. Fuck, this might be a coffee headache again. That would really suck. That would really suck if it was another coffee headache because what the fuck, you know? You know, do you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I, like, I was getting really, really bad ones for a while there. And then I cut back on the amount of, like, caffeine just in general. Um, and I stopped getting them. But this feels similar. This feels similar. Oh my god, I had super weird dreams too. I had, like... Vivid dreams. I'm trying to remember them now, but I woke up thinking like wow that was a really detailed dream You know when you have a dream and you're just like I Like my brain put a lot into that just Got the next bribe. I knew it this bitch Sorry, I'll roar. <laughs> Pain headaches are no joke um, Danny Oreozima has uh, stopped drinking like soda and things, and he said that he like 
he has like just a like a tiny headache all the time, but it never gets very bad. And it's basically gone away now. And um uh I was like, man, I'm so jealous. Because when I get the headaches, they're right at the front and they hurt so bad. I am God. <gasps> Girl! Oh my god, we got this bitch. Let's do it. Hiya. And Hiya. Let's go. Ah, oh, the joy I feel. Humongous. Um, all right, great. This is gonna be my like sleeper hit, I think. But I need one more. Orphanage right there that you're not using? Excuse me. That's blowing my mind. Yeah, I've been chugging water. Huh? Out of context, that sounds bad. There's an orphanage there you're not using? Look. <laughs> He's not using the orphanage. It's weird. It's right there. Why wouldn't you use the orphanage? I don't get it. I can't believe they're not using the orphanage. My favorite type of tea. Um, for like a lighter tea, I love just basic green tea. And um, I used to drink a lot of gunpowder green, but that's a little too aggressive for me now. I love green tea and jasmine tea for just like something light to drink with no sweetener in it. And then, um, for like something to be done up, you know, like English style, uh, Yorkshire Gold is my favorite. Hi, Garth. I almost finished making a mini fridge. What? Garth, your talent. Done. Yeah. 
Of course. bitch is gonna have to move in order for me to get into my church, which is kind of hilarious. Um, I'm wondering if I have enough. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I only have, oh fuck. Okay, I gotta gather up. Um, wait, oh shit! Oh no! There's only two I can grab right now. I'll take that. I'll grab that. Right here. Wait. Is it O? Is it O? Alright. Okay, I used everything on that. Doesn't have a bunch of money. Okay, they're using the they're using the orphanage now. Oh we oh. <laughs> They're gonna buy an assassin to kill my gang. Positive. Sure, why not? Just in case we can pull off that ass assassino. The one shot is in two hours? Uh. Yep! What? Sure is. Oh, I'm so nervous. It'll be fun. It'll be good. God, Kidder Kadinks, I'm so sorry. You can absolutely get a virtual hug from all of us. I'm so, so sorry. I hope that we're able to help you not forget, but lighten your spirits a little bit. I'm sure it's going to be tough for a long time. I deserve that. I deserved that, to be fair. Hoping this bitch is gonna move. In the omakase thing where the chef just does his own thing. I haven't. I would love to. I would love to go to a really nice sushi place and just be like, do it. Do oh my mm, Beautiful. Okay, we have the four masks. I think we can do this. Cause two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twenty. <laughs> Just 
still there. Oh no. Fuck. I'm just gonna hope that she moves next turn. That's like all I can do. Be mine. She's doing the same fucking thing I'm doing. Hello? I'm on my way. What have we here? <laughs> Off we go. She's in the orphanage, though. Her dudes are yeah. cheaper. evicted with him. I totally forgot about that. That's okay. This way I get mines. Even unlocked Ugh. Scrooge. <laughs> yeah, this is my final. That's it. I just needed her to move. So I can do it now. But she's gotta not win this turn too. I'm sure now she moves, I know. Got it. <laughs> oh, she's gonna kick everybody out, though. She's gonna kick everybody out. She hit the bomb with her body so that she could buy a boy. Okay. Wait, why didn't you just... Why didn't you just get one of these guys to like empty that shit? She could have... Mm -hmm. I guess so. She had to scout it regardless.
Okay. Let's win this shit. Yeah. Sure. Whale back. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. What? Okay, we're boy, oh, the boy in in the church. And we win. Yay! Olara, thank you so much for playing with me. Oh. I'm so late for SMD. It's okay. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I'm gonna stick around for another like 25 minutes, but let's take a, a quick little break. Super quick little break, okay? BRB. Okay. 
Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's play. The music wasn't supposed to keep playing, but I'm kind of okay with it. Sure, whatever. Do another live match. Yes, thank you so much for the 10 months. And Omnimon, thank you so much for the 23. Okay. We are playing against Shark Fangs. I don't know if Shark Fangs is here, but if they are, what's up, my dude? Um, so in this one, we're trying to swindle the palace. Oh, I can only do two things, right? only here for like 25 more minutes. I am. Dodger versus Jesse. <laughs> yeah, it is a little ironic. <laughs> this image with this name. El Tepic, thank you so much for the six months. Cheers for the cheerful. Aw. Games must go faster than I thought. They're normally like half an hour chat, right? We'll climb out fine, I think. Ego, thank you so much for the six months. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the most for evil, not good. Soon uni starts and I'll never miss a Saturday morning duger. Aw. Proud of myself. I did so much good, responsible stuff today. Man, only we could all be so lucky. Congratulations, poop butt. I got a discount on my pedicure today, so a sub is totally justified. Oh, pedicure, that sounds great. Jealous of you. Wait, did I say more damage for this guy? I guess I did. Or more gold. Yeah, I gave him more gold instead of, um... Damn, that was stupid of me. <gasps> A churchy! Hmm. 
How many people in the office today? Um, so far, all I've seen is me, Jesse, and Sam. Depends. There's so many of us here now that, like, I haven't been upstairs. So Octo might be here. Um, the Toaster Ghost guys might be here. <laughs> I don't know. Bye, Edward. Thank you. Hi, Two Fan. How are you? Prince. Aw. It seemed like you did really well at um, CoxCon, which is awesome. I haven't played Hellblade yet. I want to. It looks so cool. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Thank you for the support. Have a great day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Uh, no, I'm not going to play it on stream. It's like a super psychological game where you like hear whispers constantly. I want to make sure that I play that by myself. DWI, thank you so much for the four months. I didn't expect to learn so much about whales today. Mm. <laughs> Whale facts, I love every time you come to my chat and people are like, I'm learning so much about whales. That is a mistake right there. Have I eaten lunch yet? No. Uh, 
I just ate a ton of oatmeal this morning, but I haven't eaten lunch. E-Money, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Oatmeal, the poor man's grits. Oh god, I vastly prefer oatmeal to grits. I think it depends on what you grew up with. because it's because like Sam and I have vastly different tastes in food so I like oatmeal because then you can kind of it can kind of be like a do up your own oatmeal situation like I know what I want in my oatmeal and I know what he wants in his oatmeal and when people are over I can just like bring everything out and be like whatever you want to throw in your oatmeal feel free um, we did that when Sam's mom was here and she was like this is the best. <laughs> she loved it. This is cool. Bits for the booty shaking tunes. Thank you, Uncle Jay. I appreciate the biddies. Oh. I don't have to scout it? I thought I did. Man, I'm wasting all kinds of shit. Uh, all right. Oh, you don't say. This is so obnoxious when it happens to you. So I'm sorry, but it's in my best interest to do this. Um, Cuts. They take like 20 minutes. They take a while to cook, but they're good. Okay, I've ever had cornbread. I assume so. I don't like cornbread, so it's not something that I would have made him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Cornbread, that is something special we have in the US. Yeah, cornbread and I have never been. I love corn and basically everything, and cornbread has always just been kind of mess for me. I don't know why. much for all the biddies. I don't know if y'all just order all at once. Get food for the office on me. I watch most of you. There's no better way to say thanks than munchies. Thank you so much, Kit. I will do just that. I'll get food for all of us that are here today. Thank you so, so much. That's very sweet of you. Um...
I love that this is very obviously blocked too, but like it's. it's Put a baby in that orphanage. Yes. Ryan Eclipse, thank you so much for the four months. No mail today, maybe tomorrow. I'm putting jalapenos on everything recently. Jalapenos are great. Dodger stealing from the orphanage? No, it's just... Now that I have somebody in the orphanage, I can get urchins for cheaper. <laughs> Tara, thank you so much for the 32 months. I just got the new Reaper skin. I'm wishing everyone else luck in their loot boxes. Fucking Sam already has all of the skins. I was like, I haven't actually seen any of the skins. I wonder what they look like in For Real's life. And he was like, oh, I have all of them if you want to look at them. <laughs> I love you, but God damn it. my boys my baby boys <sighs> all right so we've got that guard tower we've got this bitch <coughs> kill him um we have to put a guard in each right that's the only way Infiltrate. Woo! Get hecoed. Um, and then who just resubbed? Random. What's up, dude? Thank you so much for the thirty-nine months. And Firestorm, thank you for the twenty-one. Okay. 
Yeah, so this isn't like the Masquerade one, where you can infiltrate the Masquerade. It's like you have to infiltrate the palace in order to win this. So he will also have the opportunity to infiltrate. Oh, I forgot that they changed. Oh, they changed. Overslept and missed the beginning of the stream. It's okay, Bisquick. Nothing happened. You didn't miss anything awesome. We talked about hair a lot. I got super salty at one point. That was basically it. <laughs> that was basically it. How could you? How could you slice a boy like that? Whoa. Treat me like a pizza pie. Some rude shit. Yeah, nobody's gone for this bitch. I mean, this lady. BRH99, thank you so much for the 14 months. The cat Sam doodle happened, that's true. I mean to play Path of Exile, but I can't figure out what class I like the most. Um, you could be like Sam and just start like four characters at the same time. <laughs> I like Soldier's Summer Skin too. He looks like such a dad. It's great. My cat is kneading my side with pokey paws. Sounds like my life. I can clip um, Watson's nails easy peasy. Cannot clip Sherlock's nails to save my life. And he's the one who like tries to put his paw on my face all the time and like, ee. and I'm like, don't, don't. <laughs> I could have put that orphan in the bank, but instead I put it in the church. To claim it. to suffer for the cat love. Man, they just, they, they love to scratch you up, man. I talked about this before, but it's so funny to me that um, Watson turned out to be, Watson is so gentle. Extremely gentle. Uh, 
Um, and she's the one that like was all street life all day until we found her. She's always been really, really gentle. She just was obsessed with food. Um, Sherlock's the one that gets like too rough sometimes. I'm like, why? You've been with me this whole time and it's never been okay. Like, I don't get it. Dinosaur, thank you so much for the 10 months. My toad. Sick. Oh shit. Oh, I hecked up. That's okay. I needed to attack with her first because he only gets benefits if he gets a kill. Shoot. Well, I hecked up there, didn't I? Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Okay. Then, uh, I guess let's come down this way. What's going on over here, y'all? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. About over here. Hmm, okay. Bribe, and I'm out. Sherlock's just spoiled. He knows you love him unconditionally. <laughs> I do love him a lot. Bought a new car today, hell yeah. Enjoy it. <gasps> no, this bitch. gonna put a boy in there? Am I gonna have to kick out your boy? Bye poop butt! See you for D&D. and Dizzle. Yes, Shark Banks is another person. This isn't the campaign, this is actual like PvP. Turn 11, all right, let's see.
り。<laughs> Yay! Good game, Shark Fangs. All right, that's gonna be it for me.、Um, I gotta go prep for this game that I'm running, which is super exciting and also very stressful.、Um, also, new,、uh, if you're not gonna be watching、um, Wicked Thimble, it's totally fine. But、uh, new Box Talk is going up today, so keep an eye on YouTube if you've been enjoying Box Talk. It's got a very special guest on it. And、uh, tomorrow is the live escape room, and that will also be happening on my channel. So tune into that if you can. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. All right? Cool. Let's bring up our new subscriber. Am I gonna, oh, am I gonna host Wicked Thimble? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you so much to Zimbims, Electric Ferret, Dream Stripe, Keto K, Magical Hermit, to Salty for Life, Kekistan Knight, Short Stack, Super Console, Gut Saren, Mistake Hour, Big Sizzle, Fenacini, MJC, Bitfail, ZZ Code, Sir Dread, Zani the Beard, Carlin Designs, Grimble, Tiny Tim, Discowerful, Uh, Spigglebomb, Sticks North, Polonels, Say It Fast, Nerd Diaries, Dragton, Reactive Shadow, Radi Radioactive Shadow, Scaly Guide, Skinny Jeans, Nanook Fox, Ryophiliac, Stan Uppa, Thunder Cabbage, Lord Bog, Aquiran,、um, Whale Facts, Omnimon, El Tepic, Egom, Artuim, DW14, Foxen and a Boxen, Vanaman, And Muni, Ryan Eclipse, PRH, and Dinosaur. Thank you guys so much.、Uh, whether you're a new subscriber or a resubscriber, I appreciate it. If you're here to lurk or if you're here to chat, thank you so much for the support. It really does mean a lot to me. And、um, I hope that I'll see you for Wicked Thimble. If not, maybe I'll see you tomorrow for the escape room. And if not that, maybe a watch box talk. And if not that, maybe on Monday for our normal stream. Okay? There are lots of options. There are lots of options if you enjoy it yourself. So I hope I'll see you back here. Okay? Bye bye, guys. Have a good day.